Imagine that you wake up in the morning and you hear this. Six thirty in the morning, Hamas started with a big rocket attack on Israel, and from what seemed like a usual attack from Gaza, became every citizen's worst nightmare. At seven thirty-five, terrorist units invaded the territories of Israel, driving cars and motorcycles. They started driving in cities in Israel, shooting and murdering every civilian they passed by, <coughs> breaking into civilian homes, taking hostages, and murdering families, including men, women, babies, and elder civilians. While they were taking hostages and killing civilians, some of their units drove to a party, started shooting everyone they saw. Parents are still looking for their missing children, not knowing what happened to them. And unfortunately, it gets worse. The terror units of Hamas controlled the cities for more than 12 hours, filming and distributing some of their horrible actions when they conquered some of the cities surrounding Gaza. They broke into civilian homes, and those that they couldn't break into were burned, forcing the civilians to get outside and be slaughtered by Hamas cruel terror units. And no, this is not a horror movie. This is the reality right now in Israel. The terror units of Hamas call themselves the Freedom Warriors. There are hundreds of videos showing them celebrating around citizens' dead bodies, including elder women and kids. If you support Hamas, you support terror.